In today's video, I'll be making a Batman cowl, or a Batman mask, whatever you want to call it. I don't care, just whatever video. So before I get into all of the sanding and painting of the cowl, I thought I'd show you a little bit on how I actually make all the 3D models that I use. So, you know, you start off with a new, new blender file. Uh, then what you want to do from here is you want to go to a pre-existing blender file Control C go back to your to your new one, and then just control V it and you're done boom All right, well you've already seen enough of sanding and I didn't really record any sanding So we're just gonna skip to the painting Yeah So now we're going to be creating the fabric insert that will go inside of the cowl. So you're going to want to print out and obviously cut out a uh, template for a fabric mask. Um, I could link one down below, but uh, that would make it a little bit too easy for you. So I'm just going to not do that. So ignoring the fact that the cowl is now much brighter, um, I'm going to be using this grey fabric to make a, well, an insert. Originally I was planning on making the jaw move when you talk, but then I forgot to make a hinge, so I'm just gonna glue the two pieces together. So after gluing the two pieces together, I glued the fabric insert in, as seen here. Oh, um, well, I guess I didn't film it then. Oh well. Well, I guess, um, I'll just show you me cutting. Open the, the mouth hole. To make it easier to get the mask on and off easier, I'm going to be placing a zip at the back of the neck. And I put it on backwards. Isn't that fun? And now it is done. Everything is perfect, except for that zipper. I should probably fix that. But, I'm not going to. Much like the Red Hood mask, you can still look left, you can still look right, you can look up, you can even still look down. Except, it doesn't fall off. Because, it can't. 